everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, and I'm wearing my Christmas t-shirt. I have on my Christmas earrings. So I think y'all know what time it is, and if you saw the thumbnail, you definitely know we are going to be decorating my Christmas tree. As you can see, she is back there naked, and she's ready to get dressed for the holidays. Usually, I do a themed tree this year, there's not so much a theme as there is a color. As you can see, the tree is red. So we're gonna go ahead and get her dressed. I hope you guys are excited. Get your hot cocoa, get your coffee, get your tea, get your robe on, get cozy, and let's decorate for the holidays. Okay, you all, so before we can even get into decorating the tree, there's something super important that we have to do, and that is put away all my fall stuff. Now, when I did my fall decorating video, I let you guys know that I pretty much store all of the decor for fall in one container. This is that container. I went and got it out of my shed, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that stuff in here. So all the stuff you saw for fall is gonna go in here. Here's my little orange and black Halloween-y fallish rug that was in my kitchen. I gave everything a good wash. So it's ready to go in. This, these are the cute little garlands that I didn't use and there goes the garland that I did use. This is the garland that I use on my TV console. So that's gonna go in with all the pieces that are falling off of it. <laughs> that's gonna go right in. Um, I also had, oops, let me grab that leaf. I also had a bunch of kitchen towels, gave those a wash so they can be put away. So I'm gonna pop those in there. I also have, of course, some foliage. This is the foliage from Amazon that I actually did not use. And then I'm gonna also remove this foliage here because I'm actually gonna replace this with something else for the holidays. So we go ahead and take that out and pop it in. And I got all my little pumpkins back here. So these are ready to go in as well. I'm just gonna kind of put them in in places where I know they won't like bump up against each other. So these are the ones that I have on my coffee bar. The little ones that I have my tea and my coffee in. i just pop those in there. And then these are the ones that I had decorated um, with on my kitchen table, my counter and a couple of other places I have those. I'm just gonna pop those in. Then I have these cute little ones that are actually candle holders that I got from TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna pop those in. And I'm not too worried about anything breaking or bumping against each other because I'm very careful with this. The last thing I need to add in here is gonna be my coffee mugs. Let me grab those. So if you recall, I had four orange coffee mugs on my coffee bar. I do have some paper to go ahead and wrap these. I saved back some paper from something that I bought from TV Next. So I'm just gonna kind of wrap and stack. So that's pretty much everything. I do have one other thing, you guys, and that is this little pumpkin that I had full of candy corn. As you can see, there's still candy corn in here. So, and I don't want to throw it away because me, my boyfriend, my sister, everybody that comes over here likes candy corn. So I'm actually just gonna kind of put this to the side and figure out what I want to do with it. So I'm not gonna put that away just yet. I will go ahead and put it away after I remove the candy though. So that's everything for fall. Now it's all packed up in one nice little container here. It's not even that heavy, so it's ready for the shed. Now that that's out of the way, let me show you guys what I will be decorating with, and then we're gonna decorate. Alrighty, I have all of the items I'm gonna be using to decorate laid out in front of me. I wanted to show them to you all before I actually use them to decorate because I am going to link a lot of these items. So if you're interested, I will have them linked pretty much in the order that you're gonna see them in this video. And if some of the items were purchased in store or I just can't find a link, I will find a similar item that's basically the same for you guys because I know sometimes people need ideas and they need links to those ideas. So I got y'all. But we're gonna be starting off with the items for the kitchen. So I have this rug, which should look familiar. It looks exactly like the one I just put away, except it's red and black. And I just thought it would be the perfect top in my kitchen on the floor, like in front of my sink and stove area. So I have that, you'll see that put into play later on. I also found these really cute kitchen towels on Shein's website. This was in their home section. So I think there's like four towels in here, um, two in the buffalo red and black, and then two in white with a little buffalo trim. So we'll see how those work out. They do look kind of cheap, 
but we gonna work with them. <laughs> the next thing that I have is some things for my kitchen table, like my little um, Lacey Susan that I have in there. So I'm gonna use this wooden reindeer from TJ Maxx. This was $7.99 from TJ Maxx, and I'm also gonna have this little vase on there. So these two items are gonna be on my kitchen table, basically in the middle of the table, and I might add something else there, I'm not exactly sure. Another thing you're probably gonna see in my kitchen is gonna be one or two of these black Santas. So I have three black Santas here. The first one is Santa in his knit cover all pajamas. This is so cute. I found these at CVS and I just couldn't resist, and they were on sale as well. The next one is Santa in his little cooking outfit. It's like a little velvet outfit. So, so cute. And the last one is Santa in his traditional outfit. He has his little bag of toys, Christmas tree in his hand, got on his boots. And I love that all three Santas are actually chocolate and they actually look like my dad. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Sorry, dad, but I found your ass. And I'm just like, <laughs> they are so, so cute. And these were so affordable at CVS. So I'm probably gonna put one or two of these in the kitchen, like on my counter in my little basket there. So you'll see what I end up doing with those. The next thing I have that I found at TJ Maxx is this beautiful nutcracker cookie jar. Oh my God, you guys, this is so cute. What a nice pop. And I've already loaded him up with all of my tea bags. So all the tea bags that I removed from the other pumpkins are now inside of my holiday nutcracker. So he is ready to be put into place and live his best life this holiday season until January. So super cute on that. Next thing I have for my kitchen are red coffee mugs. You guys saw I took down my orange coffee mugs. So these are not all matching coffee mugs. I have um, these two. This is from TJ Maxx. This one I think I got from Target last year. And then these I actually got from Target this year. So super cute. These are from the Target Dollar Spot and they actually came with a green cup. So I bought two sets of the cups and I gave the green cups to my boyfriend because he liked them. So. Those are basically the kitchen items. I do have these two bowls, which I'm gonna put up on my um, cabinet in the kitchen. These two red bowls, just for a little bit more of a red pop. And then I also have this bouquet from last year that I bought from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna put this inside of that vase over there where I removed the leaves from earlier. So those are a few items. Let me go ahead and clear this and then bring out some more because there's more. Getting into some more items. I have a few items that I am reusing that I've actually purchased last year. I'm really trying my best to reuse items because I've already bought a new tree. So, you know, it's like, okay, you didn't buy a new tree, don't buy the nails. But I did have to buy a couple of things to decorate that tree. But these are items from last year. So I have this red fur blanket that I'm gonna throw onto my sofa. I always love to have a nice cozy blanket for the holidays on my sofa. But I'm kind of thinking about using that as a tree skirt because that's the one thing I actually forgot to get is a tree skirt. So. We'll see how that works out. The next thing I have here also is from last year. These are from TJ Maxx and they are like a linen pillow. These are so pretty and they're gonna add a nice little pop of red to my sofa. And I basically just add them to my sofa with the, the pillows that are already there. Like I don't feel like I need to get rid of everything. I'm not one of those people that needs to take it like to the perfect extreme. It doesn't need to be perfect. So I just kind of throw those on with the other pillows that are on there. You'll see that later. The next thing I have are these candy cane pillows. Oh my God, they're so, so cute, right? <laughs> these I absolutely love. I got them from TJ Maxx last year. And of course I could couldn't wait to use them again this year. These are gonna go on my chairs and bring a nice little candy cane pop to the chairs. So yeah, can't wait to put those up and show those to you guys. The next thing I have is something that I've had for actually a few years and that is these red stockings. So these are gonna go on my TV console. I actually don't have a garland for my TV console. I don't know if I wanna put one up, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put these up and put a few other things up there and see how it comes together. And if I feel like I need to add a garland or I want to, then I'll look for one that looks pretty natural. But for now, I'm just gonna pop these on the TV console. They're 
so so nice and then i also have of course lots of holiday candles so i have this red candle that i got from tj maxx i have this red candle from last year from tj maxx and actually this one came from cbs I'm sorry, I'm sorry tj maxx is not right this came from cbs this other candle this like pentagon shaped candle came from tj maxx last year i just didn't finish burning it so i pulled it out again this year i also found these really cute gaudy kind of goblet style candles as you can see they are three prong candles these are also from tj maxx they're only 7.99 they're actually a name brand they're made by a perfume brand and I, I lost the little papers on top, but these are made by a perfume brand and they smell so, so good. I can't wait to burn these, but I thought these were so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the foot. It's absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to use those. I'm gonna sit one on my um, kitchen table on my little spinning Lazy Susan and then I'm gonna probably put the other one up here on my TV console. Another thing I'll be using from last year are these little Christmas, um, I don't know what you would call these, little mini trees, I guess you could say I'm gonna be using those as well. Probably gonna put one on my coffee bar and maybe one on the TV console. And then I found this really cute little bear basket. Um, I like to put out some candies like on my TV console during the holidays. You guys saw that I had the candy corn inside the little glass pumpkin, but I wanna put out something else. So I'm gonna put like some little caramels in here. This is from Shein. I will link it if anybody's interested. Um, Shein's shipping is really, really fast. So if you wanna get something before the holidays, you still have plenty of time. But those are the general items. Now let me show you the few items that I'm gonna use to decorate the tree. It's actually only three items. So let me show them to you real quick and then we're gonna get her dressed it's gonna be real fast okay so before I get into the three items that I'll be using to decorate my tree I want to show you this really cute mini tree that I got from Lowe's I found out about this from a youtuber named Jenna Pierce I think her name is she does amazing decorating videos I just love her content in either way but um, she mentioned this tree and I had to get it so it's like a mini Christmas tree it's only about three feet tall it's weighted nice and heavy so it doesn't fall over or anything so I did want to add like something just traditional as far as a tree goes. So I thought this would be perfect to either put on my coffee table or I might put it in my bedroom. I haven't actually decided, but you will see what I end up doing with it before this video is over. So I'll definitely insert a clip of what I ended up doing with this beautiful little tree. As you can see, it looks so, so natural. It has like little berries on there. You can always remove those. She actually removed them in her video, but I like them. I like the little pops of red. It also has some pine cones on it, like mini pine cones. If you guys can see, there's one right there. So, so cute. Um, yeah, so love this little tree. So this is something you'll see later on what I end up doing with it. I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. Um, getting into the three items I'm using to decorate the tree. So we got lights, red lights. <laughs> okay, because I wanted them to match the tree. We got balls, red balls from Target. These are like semi-glittery type of balls. I wanted to get something that's not gonna make too much of a mess in my apartment, because sometimes the mess that a tree can make is just too much. But the last thing that I have, and this is gonna make the most impact on the tree, are these really large flowers. So this is actually what's gonna make the tree. This is the theme of the tree. It's sort of like a red wedding tree. Think of the red wedding in Game of Thrones. And I'm just playing. <laughs> Where everybody got murdered. Um, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's, but it is gonna be kind of like a wedding themed tree, but it's a red tree. But the wedding part is gonna be these huge, poinsettia flowers they are so so beautiful and um yeah i have 30 of those to put on the tree they bloom really really nicely so it's going to take me some time to open them up and fluff them out i really should have did that earlier but i wanted to show y'all so i do have five packs of those and there's six in each one and i'm dreading having to fluff them out and deal with that glitter but after I'm done decorating, I'm gonna give this place a nice little clean up because I hate seeing glitter on my floor. But um, yeah, those are the three items for the tree. Now let's go ahead and get her dressed.
okay you all so you saw me add the lights to the tree and i think i am gonna purchase one more pack of lights i thought that would be enough since it was such a long string of lights but i feel like i want the tree a little more lit up but for now that's fine i do have lights around my window i have red lights and then i have a red neon sign which i will insert a clip of that later on so you all can see like when i show you everything but Right now I think it's fine, but I am going to be adding another string of those red lights because I do want it just a little bit more lit up, but it's definitely lit up from the outside because of the neon sign and the red lights. But now we're going to go ahead and go in with our balls. This should be pretty quick since it's only 18 of them. So let's get these on the tree. Okay, you guys, the balls are on. Um, I kind of like triangulated them, like just put like one, one at the middle and then like two to the sides, like all over the tree. Since there's only 18 of them and they are basically kind of a filler item for the tree, it's not really like important that they be seen in on every inch of the tree. And the part of my tree that faces the outside where the public can see it, um, it's actually covered by the wall when you get to a certain height. So it's really no point in me putting balls like lower than, you know, this height because it's basically just the wall there. So I didn't put any on the lower part on the part of the tree that's gonna face the window, but yeah. Balls are on, now we're gonna be adding the last thing and that is the flowers. And then I'm gonna take you guys around the room, show you what I'm doing to it, and then just give you a nice little pan of everything with some music and we'll be done. I'm gonna make me some high cocoa, sit down, get in my pajamas and uh, have me a nice little night watching my tree. So I've been wrestling with these flowers for a minute and I actually put Majority of them on the tree already. I have 27 on the tree. So the front part of the tree is basically all covered with the flowers. I just have seven more that I need to add. And uh, I said I've been wrestling with the flowers because they have a lot of glitter on them. And really the glitter is just on the edge, if you all can see that, but it's a lot. So I took each flower and when I tell you I shook the hell these flowers i took them in my bathroom in the tub shook them to death and then i had to clean my tub of course because i don't want glitter in my tub so i had to make sure every speck of glitter was out of my bathtub but yeah these flowers are a little bit messy but they are absolutely gorgeous they're very very pretty um beautiful for like a wedding or something like that but yeah you got to get past the glitter i wish they came without glitter but i couldn't find any without glitter um, I wanted to order the Balsam Hill large flowers, but they are so, so expensive and I needed a lot of them. So these are from Amazon. I will link them, but just be advised they do have some glitter on them. But it was pretty easy to shake a lot of it off. And I took like a little brush, like a paintbrush, and I just kind of brushed them too to get as much off as I could. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put these last seven on the tree. And then we're pretty much done with the tree. I just got a little cleanup to do. And then I can show you guys some close ups. So. Let's get these on. Okay, the flowers are all on the tree and this is what she is looking like. It looks so pretty. It's a very simple tree, but it's very elegant. And like I said, I'm calling it my red wedding tree because of the big flowers. But I'm gonna go ahead and push the tree back right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my pillows, do a few little um, finishing touches on some other places. And then I'm gonna show you guys what everything is looking like and kind of talk you through it. So let's do that, you guys. And then I'm ready to get in my jammies, get my hot cocoa going. Ah, the vibes are here, it's the holiday. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, we are all done. I am so tired, hungry, beat down, broke down, but all of my holiday decor is up and it feels amazing. It immediately puts me in the holiday spirit once I get my place decorated. So I feel good, y'all, even though I'm tired as heck. <laughs> I went ahead and made me a little hot cocoa, honey, in one of my little red coffee mugs. And I'm about to drink this. I have some soup on the stove. It's a rainy day today, so this is like the perfect day to decorate for Christmas. So I'm just excited, you guys. You know, for me, the holidays is never about gifts and buying stuff and sharing luxury gifts and all that stuff and what I got for Christmas. It's never about that for me. It's just about being in the holiday spirit, honestly. Like, it really, really is. So, and I love to decorate my place. Place because it makes me feel good. I cannot wait until Christmas 2024 because your girl is going to be in a house. And when I tell y'all things is going to be real, real different up in there, I'm so excited for me. I'm excited for y'all. I have so many great motivational videos coming for 2024 to get us ready, to get us like really, really amped up and fired up to make next year an amazing year. So all of December is going to be filled with that sort of content. So get ready, y'all, because I got a lot to share. But I enjoyed making this video. I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip right now with kind of like a slow pan of each thing that I kind of decorated in my place. I didn't really do anything in my hallway. I didn't do anything in my bedroom at all. I have one holiday pillow on my bed right now, and it just has some brown Christmas trees on it. So nothing there. I really only decorated my living room because that's really where I care to see most of the decor and of course my kitchen. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and I'll be right back to close out the video. Okay, you guys, so here is my window without the tree in front of it. I do have some lights up there and I have a really cute neon sign from Amazon. And of course, this is what the tree looks like with full lights on. So I have on all of my lights in my living room so you can see it really well. I love the way it turned out. It's very, very simple. Even though it's a red tree, it's pretty simple and I really like it. This is what it looks like in low lighting. So I turned off the light so you all can see it in low lighting and I love the glow of this tree. It's so pretty. Here's some of the decor in the kitchen. So this is my little centerpiece on my kitchen table. And then of course I added some pops of red with these red bows on my cabinet. Thought they would be really cute. Of course I added that black and red buffalo printed rug to the front of my sink. And I also added those towels that you all saw to my stove. I really love the festive vibe that these pops of red bring to my kitchen. It just seems to bring everything alive. Of course, now we're moving into the living room. So I turned on all of my warm electric lights in my cabinets. I added those red pillows from TJ Maxx from last year to my sofa as well as the red blanket. This is what my TV console looks like with the red stockings on it. I love the way this area looks. I also added that small tree. So adorable. I really love the way this turned out. It's so simple, but it really does make such an impact for the holidays. Of course, now it's time for me to make some hot cocoa. That's always my tradition when I do these videos. So let's chit chat. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and decorating my place with me for the holidays. This red tree is by far one of the most unique trees I've done. And if you've been following me for the last six or seven years, then you know that every holiday I do like a themed tree. And like I said, this one was a red wedding tree. So, and I think I did a really amazing job with that. I think it's simple, it's elegant, it's really cute. I'm looking forward to adding another layer of lights on it to just really brighten it up so that when the lights are off in here, it's nice and bright. But I love it. I think it's so cute and different and I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys try out this tree. This tree that I have, is actually very affordable and it's probably because it isn't pre-lit but it's still a great price for the height of tree that it is. I think it's seven feet tall and um, it was super affordable. So I will link it for you all from Amazon. You can get prime shipping on it and get it right away. And of course the balls are from Target. Everything will be linked in the description. So if you wanna recreate my tree, of course I've linked everything. And if you wanna check out any of my other tree videos, I do have a holiday playlist showing all of my past trees. I've done an African print tree. I've done a Minnie Mouse tree. I did a a Harlequin tree, I did a, um, what was that, like a Vegas show tree, like with playing cards on it. 
Um, gosh, I, I've done a gingham, like farmhouse tree. So I've done quite a few trees. So if you're interested or you need some ideas, check out that playlist. But I want to thank y'all again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go, because like I said, I have a lot of great content coming for you all to get you ready for 2024. Fashion wise, financially, mentally, spiritually, in every way, I got videos coming touching on all of that so make sure you subscribe and of course to all my regulars i hope you enjoyed decorating with me i love you guys so much and i'll see you all on the next one bye y'all